Okay, hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of the Zifas Ending Journal. Alright, I'm gonna take a look at SVL this time. So what is SVL? Stands for Super Big Life, but I think they also changed it to Zifas Big Life. Um, in a way, it's an event type that they added uh, eventually in between the regular events. Uh, at the end of the month So the schedule would be roughly beginning of the month uh, You had SBL, then you had a token event, then you had DLP And you had uh, an item, no sorry, marathon event uh, What you do in SBL is There are three songs that get selected from each school So Muse, Acres and Nijikazaki And they are put in a ranking But it does work uh, in an interesting way that you have a limited place. As you can see here, you need one ticket to do it. You have nine tickets a day. And you can actually, it doesn't really say here, but you can only play, oh yeah, it says here. You can play each song three times. So you have limited amount of plays that you can do this on, but not really, <laughs> I'll get into that. It makes the ranking a bit more intense. Because, as I said, you only have three tries to solidify your best score. What you do is you play the song, you have three, three tries a day, and your best score will be used your recorded score. And your scores will all sum up in your total. So if I go here, you can see that Cephas Pro has 473 million because that's all the days combined amount. I have 337 million and I haven't played two days just yet. You can see the current one, I don't have it, and in the previous one, which I get 84 million. This is the sum of all three of the songs. My best score in each of them. You see here in the history, you can see what I scored. It's my first three attempts I always do, so it's these ones. 29.8, 30, and 22. Wow, that was actually kind of quite low. Uh, those were my scores that got added to that total. Um, yeah, so in so many is what 58 and well, whatever. <laughs> uh, actually, no, but the best score you get each day. As I said, this adds an element of intensity and it makes it harder because you have so many tries to get your score out there. But there is a catch um, you get soft band if you leap while the song is going on, and uh, not well in the lobby though. So you can't actually leap in the game, but if you close the app, then when you come back to it, you will have a soft ban. The first time you do it in a day, it's two minutes. And after that, if you repeat it, it's five minutes. So what people that rank in this, and I have a personal story, do is that they will play the song. If it doesn't go like they want it, before the song ends, before it sends the information to the server, they close the app and then they get the soft ban, so say it's already the 5 minute mark say I play the song at 10 o'clock it's 2 minutes playing the song and I quit, so that's 10.02 1 minute rebooting the game 10.03 and I open this menu at 10.03 so I will only be allowed to play another attempt at 10.08 5 minutes afterwards at 10.08 I would join again and I would do it again and if I don't want to, uh, to keep the score that I get, I would leap and pretty much you do this to optimize the best possible score uh, and or people would do it now it is a really intense grind if you really want to be on the top of the scoreboard because trust me uh, you're gonna be spending a lot of hours if you're looking for that perfect run in terms of rankings you can see here mine i have participated in all of them the trial event that's what the first one was called and ever since then it's been round number uh, except for these ones which were the first anniversary I think which was the school idol festival then it continued and who did I skip I don't know uh, oh, okay I don't remember what this one was called like this then it was like the second anniversary ones and these ones were special they were three different ones and here's where my story is so as you can see here I mostly like got a uh, top 2000 a thousand two thousand Back here I was still like a strong contender, but not so much, sometimes I would get kicked out. Um, top 500 I started around here, and sometimes, not always, and 
The rewards are mostly the same, you get a couple of more extra coins that I'll talk about in a bit. Uh, so I didn't actually bother too much, actually this was the first one I got 500 and then 2000, 2000. Then came the anniversary one. And for the Nijigasaki one, I had a decent team and the songs I could score a lot. And this was the first time that I actually got top 300 in any voltage ranking. I felt pretty proud of myself. But then came the Acorns one, the second one. And I just so happened to have just gotten, I think both, no, Party You, and I already had Fest 2, or or maybe the other way around. And I had Hanama, no, no, I got the U. Okay, I don't remember, but I had Fest Hanamaru 2, I had Fest Mari, and I had one of those U's. I think it was Party You. And I had enough resources to max her. And the thing is, they gave boost to each of these schools. I forgot to mention that, but in every SBR round, there is a boost that is applied. Usually, it will be to a school or to a specific year. Uh, right now, I think we're. I don't know if it, this is going to be the final SBL. They didn't really say that there was going to be another one at the end of May. I'm recording this at the beginning of May. Um, so, right now, it's 30% up in all stats for everyone but usually it was like 20 to a specific groups and in this one it was it was for eight parts the boost and it's just that the songs i didn't have on attribute stuff but i had decent cards and i i actually went for the grind i pretty much did that like every seven or so minutes playing a song i spent a lot of hours in that weekend pretty much doing that but it was worth it because i got rank 92. I remember specifically every single day I placed 92 and in the end I placed 92 total. It's like that 92 was uh, destined for me and it's the only top 100 of any voltage event that I've gained. Uh, after this I had plenty 500, sometimes a thousand if I got kicked out, 500, 500, 500, all of these ones. This one I didn't bother too much and I actually got top 200 in the last one. Uh, I hadn't done it in a while, and this is different, so that's my story with this, as I said, I had that little story of the 100, you can see here the bonus that I said, so right now everyone gets a bonus, but usually only the ones that are listed. What else can I tell you? Uh, there are awards from different things that you can do in this, they would change every round, the first three that existed were Voltage, which is get the most voltage. Skill, activate the most amount of skills. And SP skill, uh, pop the most amount of SPs. At the beginning, only these three were available. Um, and it was pretty much like just SP spam, which would get you the skill and the SP skill. And if you had a good enough cards, you could get the voltage one as well. Eventually, they added other ones. So, recovery is how many recovery skills you used. When this is paired with skill at the same time, you can cheese both of those. This one they never actually added <laughs> as support and appeal. This is like critical. So they always listed this here, but they never actually made an appearance. So depending on what you wanted, you could do one of two things. You could use one of your runs to get a high score, and then you could use the rest of your runs to try and get the badges and I have them here so when you get the most voltage you will get the voltage award and if you get it 50 times you get this badge this also for 20 and for just 10 for skill for SP skill and for recovery and also for if you get the calculated amount of each of the awards that are determined in the event if you get good on those, then you can get the top performer, which pretty much means you were the best all around in the room. Just as the one for this. So, only these four, as I said, there were two others that were listed, but they were never enabled or released. So, what I would do when I didn't have these badges was do one for my score, and then I would try to go for some of these, depending on what parade it was, or if I felt like I could get the awards. Eventually I got a strong inventory of cards, so I could do it. But after I had this, I had no more need to keep doing this. So instead what I did was cheesing, because you see this? These are the parade medals. When you go to exchange in here, there are two things you can exchange with parade medals. 
The first thing are past event cards, both the URs that are listed here and the SRs, the ones that were part of the ladder rewards. These ones initially were really slow, like they would release, they, and they started doing this after a while after release and they would release like one event per time. And if it had continued at that rate, it would have taken two years to catch up. Uh, some months ago, they decided to do a patch and add a lot of progress at once. I don't know if that was hinting at the shutdown or not, but it was good because like, it would have generally taken two years to get to like the current ongoing event at the rate that they were going. Because you have two events per month, but only one of these gets added per month, or would get added. And they were already like with several months uh, behind of what there was. So yeah, you could buy these. Uh, some of them, I mean, the prices are a bit high, especially for the additional copy. Ooh, I don't want to wait. Uh, but that's how it went. Additionally, there's also item exchange, which allows you to exchange normal scoring tickets, candy, macarons, um, some other materials here. Uh, so you could do that pretty much. So if you went for the cheese strats that I'm going to show you right now, you could try to optimize getting the most coins. So what could you cheese? Well, it depends on the awards. Uh, but overall, this is one of the most common ones. Which is not this one. It's this one. I call it Heal's Cake. And pretty much just has cards that have healing skills that are SK type. So they will have an increased amount of skill activation. Additionally, I have this blue strut which has these cards which have a passive that when you switch strategies, the overall skill activation for all cards increases. So the idea is to switch between green and red strategies over and over. They all have healing strat uh, skills. So the skills will activate more often and they will be both skills and healing skills. If you needed the SP one, then you could do... Wait, where is it? That's the regular cheese suit team, which is just SP fillers, honestly. And it has, you know, uh, Fez, Emma, the first one, which does have that bonus that it gives you more of your bar. But just so I could get the most amount of SP. Now, depending on the combination of the skills, like for example, the current one is the goals are healing, voltage, and SP. So those usually don't combine well too much. I would try sometimes to have like a team to have healing skills and a bit of SP as well, but trying to do both usually just hurts too. So whenever I got that, I actually just went for my scoring um, team for whatever it was. And oftentimes I would win because I think maybe people were trying to cheese both of them, uh, but it worked out for me. Uh, but that's pretty much SBL. Uh, I think it's kind of a fun event. Uh, my gripe with it is that sometimes they would repeat songs a lot. Also, the songs in here, they're not quite the same as the regular ones. Most of the times they were advanced songs, but there were a few rare occasions where they had expert songs, but only when all of the selection of songs had expert versions. If you had one that had an expert and the rest didn't, then they would be the regular advanced versions of the songs. Uh, but they're not entirely the same, like some of them that have damage notes in SBL, they have them reduced to just 400 damage instead of 10,000 or 30,000. I think that's so that people can play them. Additionally, you don't actually die on these songs. It's kind of like Bandori, I think, but those ones are co-op lives. So you won't die, so even when there's songs that deal heavy damage, you can still play them to get some score, of course, because you will be in no HP. Your cards will score considerably low, uh, but even for cheese strats, you don't care about the score, you just care about activating your skills. So that could also be done only in these ones. Um, so that's pretty much what SBL was. This was pretty much just a recap of it. Let me play one of the songs in here. Well, I'm in my computer, so I'm gonna have to auto it, but just to show some of the different things that can also appear. Right, so let's queue up here for Wonderful Rush. Let me select my team, which is my active one. Uh, there's also like room goals, so they are randomized. So right now it's activate SP, SP skill 30 times or more. Activate 310 individual skills or perform SP type 3 more times. times. 
and I didn't auto. Oops, this is bad. <laughs> Well, I get to show to the band now. But I just rebooted my app, so something to note, the band pivot, as you can say, you have been disconnected from the server, you may join another game in two minutes, and if you do it again in the same day, it turns up to five, and then it's five every other time. Yeah, it's, it's five minutes, wait a time. So I, I get what they did, is they want to punish people that just quit over and over, but in a way it enables people to quote unquote infinitely uh, attempt minus the time that they lose waiting for the attempts of course uh, and the timing only begins when you go back into the menu for the event so even if I got banned at say 10 o'clock and, and I still play the game for another hour but I didn't actually come here to the event page I'm still gonna have to wait a couple of minutes Let's just, I'll just wait and then show the song. Alright, we're here. I uh, forgot to hit auto play this time, and for the heck of it, let's do 3D. Something important to note, uh, on the global version, we only have 10 player lobbies. I suppose it's because of <laughs> less players. In the Japanese it's 20, which only makes it all the more harder to get this <laughs> these different awards, because in between 20 people and you know that people invest in the game more over there, or would invest more with 10 it's more manageable uh, so I, of course, it was ages ago that I got everything but yeah uh, I was saying before about the goals, they're pretty much randomized and per room but they apply for every single player, so in between all 10 players, or less if it's not enough uh, you have to complete all of these. This just nets you additional rewards at the end. Uh, but I don't think anyone might ever reach them because they just go with their strategies and that's it. Anyway, let's just wait for the song. Oh, I guess you also have these stamps in here if you want. I honestly have not used them in ages. I will just wait for my lobbies and play. So you have 10 and the countdown begins. In case it takes too long, the first person that joined the room is able to start it after a while. Not sure how much time it is. I've had it sometimes, but anyway. Right, so here you have the voltage goal in between everything. Pretty much that they just take like the base and multiply it by the number of players. Uh, but usually people get more than this. And the more you get, the higher threshold you get. Anyway, these ones play automatically, so... I'll just play it and control my pops. Okay, here, you see that? Those are special notes. Uh, we have another one here for voltage, I got the speed one before. Uh, in theory, what that means is that some other player is using a card of that type. So there's voltage ones like this one, there's SP. There's skill ones which in theory increase your skill activation for a brief period of time in all your cards. And then there's a the useless one, when you have guard cards they will give you a little bit of shield. They're the least desirable ones <laughs> that you can get. They work weird, because they're just distributed randomly in between the players in the room. But sometimes, and especially for top rankers, you want to have the best R&D on getting those things handed out to you. So, like, the best thing that you want to get for those things is get a lot of SP pops because I think it's based on like the stats of your cards or something so similar to the bracelet accessories hey that wasn't even too bad for uh, an auto play 28.3 I think they work similar to those bracelets for the SP so they will give you SP gauge based on the stats of your team in total but if you have a fully built team like I had in this one for example it's guaranteed to fill it so, the song ends, it does as a regular song would, which for the DLP event they don't actually give you bond or experience, I think. Then it tallies up the results, basically it waits for everyone's quest to be submitted. And then as you can see, the goal was just 74 million, but we got ultra success because we got way more than that. A 
actually we missed a little bit. These notes pretty much determine like how you did. And then comes the goal. So I did the most SP skills without trying to do so. I got the most core. For recovery, no, because I'm using a shielder and that doesn't count. I guess I forgot to mention that. Only actual healing. And would you look at that? I actually got the MVP. Uh, I've had where I I've had times where I got all 111. Not in this run, but with yeah, in this run, but you should when I'm chasing the on the awards, I can do that. And then this is the awards. You get pretty measly amounts of gems for this. Uh, honestly, not that many. Actually, I never realized how little you get. But for every individual award of these ones, you get 1500. And if you get MVP, you get an additional 3000. Uh, normally, you are probably going to be needing to get at least some of these other awards to get MVP. Though at, that, at times the game is random and likes to assign it to other players. That's pretty much how you build your medal collection. Uh, though in addition, based on the rankings, for every day with the ranking that you get on the day, uh, you get some. And actually, let me show that. That's what I had to show. So, achievement reward. I've already collected this, but pretty much for every number of plays, you get like 100 points uh, or something like that. For every play, you get 100 points. And you grab some medals that you get in there. Full reward is this is like the total amount of times that it's played or something. I don't think it's really explained, but you will get some. For the daily, depending on your rank, you also get some medals. So I usually place 500 or 300. I've been actually placing top 300 in this one, so I'm getting 7.9 thousand. And then for the total awards, you get your title, you get gems, which is important. And you get a, a higher threshold of coins. What I was saying here is like, for example, 76,000 versus 74. You get the same amount of gems. Like, there's not much difference in between these ones. A thousand more for 300 and be, besides 500. So, I never really try hard at these ones. Besides the one that I wanted my top 100. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's what you get. I think that's pretty much SBL. So, yeah. As I said, kind of a fun event. Uh, sometimes I will admit that playing 9 songs a day could become a bit of a hassle when you are so used to just autoing everything uh, but it only happens at the beginning of the month so I would just dedicate the time there and that's pretty much it uh, it is worth it because of the gems that you get and it, it, I think it's fun as I said there's that, that whole aspect of you have limited plays so you have to if you want to keep improving your score, then you should try to dedicate it to that instead of cheesing for coins. Or even if you need to reset and take the 5 minute advance or whatever. Uh, but that's SPL. Okay, it's been like about a month ever since I recorded uh, the rest of the video. But I did want to showcase uh, what happens at the very beginning of the event. So you get like the rules, just like any of the other events. And you get them in here, I had already showcased this. So you're gonna get this because I have zero in everything, I have my triple place enabled. Uh, there's only a handful of hours, like two hours for this first round to conclude. Because, well, that's the problem with this and I don't know why they did it like this. They never tried to <laughs> make it different. At least in my time zone, the first period of time uh, happens from 1am to 10am. So like, for example, in my case, in, in my side of the world, most of the people are sleeping through most of that time. So what I had to do is I had to wake up at like 7 or 8 a.m. whenever this happened and play the first uh, round of songs so I could get my scores in. And if I cared about the coins, the tokens, and then I would do the cheeses or whatever. So, yeah. So, okay, we're, right now it's June 1st. Um, they are doing three final SBLs to conclude the game. In fact, we don't really have too many events in June, but... We're gonna have a Muse, an Aquarius, and a Nijigasaki SPL throughout the month. Uh, the Muse members in this case are gonna get the boost, and it's only Muse songs. Uh, unlike, you know, how I had showcased that it's usually a Muse, an Aquarius, and a Nijigasaki song, but this is because it's an, uh, an important one. And now it says Sifas tanks uh, plenty, so that's how the titles are gonna look. We look at the reward list, you'll see that. Uh, it in said in in it says that I want to show you this as well. So the achievement reward. This is something that I had already claimed by before. But every time that you reach these points, 100 and 200, 300. Well, I mean it's pretty easy. 
uh, you will get these rewards. It's first time only, so um, since you get points simply by playing by the 18th play, which is just in two days. If if you do all nine songs daily, then in two days you'll get this. I wanted to showcase that. Then uh, it's full reward. As I said, I never really understood what this meant, but what I think it is is the number of times that any specific lobby has been held. So it says a thousand and thirty-three times right now. I assume that's what it means. And then it's just that the daily one, as I said, uh, depending on your daily ranking, I will also showcase that later. You get this, and then the total. So let me get my scores in. Of course, right now I'm in zero, so let me get my scores and show you how that looks. Okay, so I've done my plays. Uh, I finished all three for I Should One Shy and some for UUU, and these are my scores. If you see here in the story, I do believe I improved them from the previous ones, like as you can see here. <laughs> from my first attempt. I got better in each time, so that that's usually something that you may want. Then again, there's some random uh, factors that may contribute for it. And I, I was going to do this one here I, because I wanted to showcase uh, the cheese sink. But first, let me show some things. So first, I don't remember if I had shown this, but there are goals in SBL that we enable. So it's win one award, at least just one. So if you want to cheese something to get it, and then it's play song. 10 times, which you can just do it if you play every single day all the attempts. Okay, next I wanted to showcase uh, the cheese formation because that's what I'm going to be doing for this. So because right now it's SP and skills, I'm gonna use this cheese team which is just uh, SPs. Again, I had already briefly mentioned this before, but the main gimmick is that I just have two strats that are gonna do the work and then the final strat is just the ones that boost the skill activation on strategy switch which is these cards uh, i think phase u1 the pure one the spoltage type also has this and it has a better effect than the srs so you should use that if you have her but i'm just gonna be using this this is pretty much all the sp fillers that i ever raised and emma <laughs> emma's the exception because she has the this skill which gains uh voltage sometimes on strategy switch she was incredibly useful because of this skill and it was exclusive to her for such a long time oh also i'm gonna get the achievement reward next one so i want to showcase that on video as well uh that skill that emma has it was so useful because no one else had it and it was just a really good asset for sbl cheesing uh, but eventually I think like either Patty Setuna or a Fest Setuna got it and I think maybe another card has it so and it has a, a better use so you could use those I never actually uh, trained Fest Emma one because she's so old that she's not that great but oh well uh, let's do this now okay we're coming in on the song so I started my green strategy which is all SPs and then I always just Switch first time, that way some of the bonuses start activating, and then I just I just keep going. Oh damn it! Well, okay, yeah. So you want to be popping SPs, but I think it's you're gonna build them so quickly that yeah, you should probably um, try to do them as early as you can. I guess I didn't show my accessories, but uh, the two SP strategies have full keychains. Is it keychains? Yeah, it's keychains, which uh, increase the skill activation. Uh, though it's bad since stamina, so if you have songs that deal a lot of damage and since you're not healing yourself in any way in here uh, That bonus may falter a little bit as you go But it's fine. It's better to have it actually and I do have a uh, bracelet on the other strategy so we can get some um, Charge on our SP whenever we complete an AC so yeah, that's pretty much how it goes, you just keep doing this over and over. Okay, this AC asks us to appeal with 9, so we may just do it. I usually don't want to switch into the blue strategy, which is the one that has the, the non-SP cards. But in some situations, if you can clear a, an AC with it and gain additional <laughs> SP on your bar, then yeah, it, it may be worth to do. It depends on a song by song basis. There are some times on songs where carpets are so high, and because you're using this specific type of team, you may not actually be able to clear them. So in those cases, just try to ignore uh, the ACs and just straight up go for this. For example, here I, I popped a little bit, 
before the AC began. Uh, I could have just waited a little bit and popped the SP when it had begun and it would have already cleared it. Uh, but well, those are just mistakes that you can realize. And here it ended. Well, this note's really long, but let's wait for it to end. Okay, so as long as you pass that loading thing, your information was already sent. So you can spend as long as you want here. Here in our play details, we can see how many speeds we did, which did 24. And we don't see actually how many skills activated, but we see that this eye specifically uh, got 17. So you can pretty much assume that in average, each of your uh, SP cards got roughly the same. Well, I mean, not really, but... So here, I got this... You have like inner event points, but they're only, they're only used for these like metal uh, rewards and nothing else. It's weird, but that's how it works. Now let's see the results. So as I said, the results are sent on the first loading after the song ends, so you can spend how much time you want in that menu. It doesn't really matter. And here we'll see. So voltage of we were competing with that skill. I got it. Well, SP skill, sorry. And skill, I guess they won. Probably they had a more suitable team for that. But hey, we actually got it. Second place. Wait, how many did I get? I, I didn't even notice. So what was their team, for example? We can see it here. I don't think I showcased that. So, what do they have? Uh, this is the Zetsuna that has that skill. You gain even more than than the Emma. And I guess they were using, I don't know, an all-around all team, I guess? I suppose. Uh, what was this guy using? They won the top scored. Probably a top scoring story. Yep. <laughs> also SP, which is like pretty meta, but... Ever since the Bolton Cap changed, unless you have everything max, it doesn't work. I'll discuss that in, in my scoring video. And here, this is something that I forgot to mention before. Here you can also see the players that participated. You can even add them from here. And here you can see these little bars, which I think it means... The green one, it means that you sent uh, your powers to them. <laughs> and the orange one is that you received. So, you know, the, the SP nodes or the voltage one, all of those. Uh, I think that's what it means for this example for this one it didn't happen, but it's completely random like It's weird that you can see them when it's completely not up to you. It's it's what the game decides Ah, uh, well, but that's it. So on my final result for day one. Hey, I got 231 which I actually got On my initial attempts of the each of the songs which were of course worse than this But over the time I I got a lit a little bit moved back so closer to 300 and uh, now I'm back here. So, um, well, there's, there's about an hour left for this round. Thing is, whenever this happens, you could kind of see where you may play. So right now I am in top 300. There's an hour remaining. I think there's a high chance that I may remain in top 300 in that one hour. And then from here, it's kind of like my baseline. So I know that I can score at most this so far. The idea would be that you try to at least keep these scores or even improve them in the next days. Though also if you don't really care about the score, it's it's fine. And yeah, I don't really care because as, as I showed you before, the coins, the difference is not that many and you may not even end up buying all of them. But well, that's fine. Uh, I'll show a couple of extra things and I will show the end of the event, so stay tuned. Okay, uh, we're here, it is now... A after 10 p.m. for me on the first day that uh, SPL started and at this point boy you are joking me no way <laughs> okay so it looks like my daily boulders rocket was 301 so to keep in mind this 7700 uh, coins uh, I was quite literally one place from getting well I mean it's just, see it's like 200 more like Come on, that's not much. I know it's just for the day, but like even in the totals, top 300 to top 500, it's not that much of a difference. It's just a thousand, like, it's what I keep saying. But anyway, I just wanted to show that uh, it's at what, midday in Japan or 10 p.m. in my area when you get the rewards from the daily previous day. Um, course I guess so in this case I got 301 rank and uh, you can know that because you can see it in the ranking always 
ranking always allows you to see the previous day so daily previews here it is that's me can't believe it man current i haven't done my scores yet but i just wanted to showcase that okay hello we are back uh, for almost one final time uh, there's only about an hour left for the event as you can see exactly uh, 70 minutes and I finished doing my plays for the final day, so uh, yep, this is my score. If you want to see my total, okay, here it is. So keep in mind that the total is a cumulative, so I had 359 million. Uh, I guess in dailies, I've been kind of close to the top 300, but here's the thing as I said, the first period is only like uh, nine hours, yeah, about nine hours. And a lot of the west side of the world is sleeping during that time. Uh, and also the final period, well, it's longer. It's actually uh, 14 hours, I think. But still, there's sometimes people that can forget to play. I will admit that there's been several times where I... It's like, so this ends at 1 a.m. in my time. And it was like already 12 or a little bit before 12. And I was like... Oh my god, I forgot SBL the final day, I forgot. And depending on the time, once I okay, I played just one of each song to late my score and then I went to sleep. Another time I was just so tired and I just straight up didn't do it. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, sometimes people may forget, so that, that's what I'm banking for the ranking. Even though I don't really care a whole lot about the ranking. Because as I told you, like, yeah, it's just for bragging rights, but meh. So I'm 260 right now, I was like 257 to 58 just a few minutes ago, so I guess some people are putting in their final scores just now. Uh, an hour to hold 40 positions, I don't know if I can do it. But as I said, if you had the leverage of having done the first period and then the last, where some people may forget, then maybe you can have the upper hand if you are like close to the edge of a ranking. But most likely that's not going to happen for the people that play the most. But, well, you know, it can happen, like, as I said for myself, if I have the potential to be, like, top 300, which my team definitely does, uh, but I just forget, then I'm just going to be <laughs> left out. Um, I had another, a couple of topics. The thing about this is, since I've been recording this, over continuous sessions, and even uh, some of these last footage uh, over a month before the previous one, I get time to, like, remember stuff, so I can talk about it. and it's it's cool to get to talk about it because you know if I don't do it now I may forget it later and it, it will, will be just lost time so uh, crashing I think is SBL was really unstable on its earlier days it would crash a lot either during a song or at the end of a song something like that uh, so depending on where it crashed, you could get soft banned, or even if you didn't get soft banned, it would still cost you to have to restart the game, which was annoying. It was even happening on this round, when I played on my phone, <laughs> it would crash sometimes, so yeah. I do believe they, well, no, they did improve it over time, like, it crashed way less, and it was way more stable, but I just wanted to mention that that was an issue that happened a lot. Um, I guess uh, I, I briefly mentioned, but I'll just show in a screenshot that, as I said, you can die you can drop to zero stamina but you can keep going and this is useful for like cheesing even though you will not be uh, appealing as much you can still activate your skills uh, and get stuff like that so i have a screenshot here where i'm completely dead that was on, on a song for you 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 uh, because that one th this song has um a lot of faces but they well i can see it here but they're really short so they're meant to be completed literally between two notes straight up and if you don't do it, there are several health ones, so your health just drops, but you can keep going, so, yep. Uh, let's see, another thing, stat calculating, that they had a lot of given it. Uh, so for these ones, I was just using my regular uh, elegant, pure and cool teams that I have. But I guess it's important to also take into consideration what the parade boost can give you. So for example, early on, since right now this is the Muse uh, thank you campaign. So all of the Muse cards are boosted. What I would do before I didn't have my very specific teams already built where I had just some cards and some of them were more potent and I would use them on my single team. I would check of what other cards I have and calculate like, oh, so keep in mind that when you have attribute match, it's like a 20% increase to your stats and it, it even increases more if you have bond board, but by default it's like 20%. 
So it's like, oh, a card has, let's say, 10,000 in a stat. But by 20%, because it's such a good matching, it will be uh, 12,000. And then because it's getting an additional uh, 30,000 boost uh, because of the SBL bonus, for instance, its stat will be actually 15,000 because it's a double boost. So it's a total of 50% when you count both. So, okay, would those stats be able to beat uh, something else that isn't boosted, but it's just brute forcing? And I would build my teams for SBL like that before but well not in these latest ones where I just had uh, <laughs> everything just built for each attribute I didn't really wear like for these songs I only really use a muse card in Sayonara Sayonara which was the body Honoka for healing my other strats didn't even have muse cards but that's just because they were on attribute already and they had a little bit of uh, bond war investment so yeah but yeah, that's something that I also did and it was like really important, especially when you didn't have fully built teams. So you could see like cards that you could potentially use that because they would get boosted, not only just because of the attribute, but because of the group uh, or whatever thing was being boosted by that SBL round. Those could be worth using. And I think that was almost everything. Another thing, a funny story, they would often hold SBLs on New Year's Day, like straight up beginning on January 1st uh, and I remember the, I, I don't know if this happened two times or three times like I would be in, in my New Year's reunion or whatever with my family you know that maybe the party had dwindled down a little bit or the celebration and I would be just there on my phone when I am hits I would straight up just start playing some of the <laughs> the SBL rounds because I knew that I was not going to wake up before 10 am on the next day because we were staying up for New Year's but that was a story that I remembered, so I, I guess I would talk about it here. That they, they did always on New Year's. And yep, I ended up playing like at 1, 2 a.m. Just because I knew that I wouldn't wake up before 10, so like at 7, 8 or 9, to actually do it. Uh, but yeah, that was what I wanted to share for now. Uh, so uh, this ends in exactly 65 minutes. I'm recharging this right now, see if I fail, so... In that time that I was speaking, I didn't fall, so I have an hour to hold this. Well, I can't do anything, but let's see what happens. So I'll see you when the results are announced. Okay, and we are going to see the results now. Yes, <laughs> I got it. So we see the logo here. We're going to see whatever it was, whatever round it was. Results. I got rank 274. Nice. So I did manage to get the top 300. See, that's what I told you, even though in, in my daily rankings I mostly fell out of top 300, I did manage to get it the total one in the end, mainly because, I don't know, maybe it's a certain day I did better and that counted towards my total, because everything counts, or maybe just some people straight up forgot to play, and that causes this. So, well, you get your thing, your badge, uh, coins, stars which is almost always like at least 250 so it's really good because you get some gems and some uh, high meme exchange tickets and then you get uh, the previous daily ranking which is the final day and overall rewards as I said I, I really don't know how this one works but you always need to get them in there and that's pretty much it so this stays up for one day that you can see it and then it goes away so, usually uh, you'd have to wait another month for the next SBL, but because right now we're ending, so we're gonna get one in a couple of days again. Uh, but that's pretty much SBL. Uh, as I said, uh, I do enjoy it as an event, um, because it puts the, like, your teams to the test, and as I said, you can sometimes maybe do stuff uh, with the cards that are boosted that you normally wouldn't be able because they're not built. It all depends. My only problem is that uh, there were some songs that they tend to repeat several times and instead there were other songs that weren't even featured ever at all. So right now we can know that there's no longer any Muse songs that are gonna be in SBL anymore. And I'm pretty sure that there's several Muse songs that never made it into a ranking. So that sucks a little bit, but because yeah, like having to do... I'm pretty sure that Snow Halation was put in there like at least four times, I don't know. But, eh, whatever. Uh, but I, I did enjoy it. Um, like, 
Usually it was the time of the month that I had to play Sifas the most because they were playing 9 songs a day and when you're just too used to using skip tickets pretty much all the time or at least beforehand whenever I was grinding stuff uh, or titles I would just autoplay but these ones for the most part you manual play them or at least you do actually input when you're cheesing for example in, in the cheese that I use uh, but yeah well, probably it was an event that I, I really enjoyed in Cephas uh, I don't know how long this ended up because I kept adding way more stuff every time but I hope you enjoyed uh, thank you for watching I'm gonna leave the playlist here so you can check out other features and for now the video it's over